Hello dear learners, welcome to today's program. I am Dr. Pallavi Gogoi of Krishna Kanda Handik State Open University. Today I shall take up Unit 9 titled Phrases and Items from Foundation Course in English, Semester 1, Block 2. So let us quickly begin. I shall begin with a table of contents, starting with the learning objectives, followed by a brief introduction, a few samples of phrases and idioms, and then we shall move on to the questions to check your progress, followed by the references. Coming to the learning objectives, after going through this unit, the learner will be able to gain an idea on the importance of using phrases and idioms appropriately in sentence construction. Figure out that phrases and idioms are divided under the following heads, that is adjectives and adverbs, nouns, adjectives plus nouns, adverbs, pairs of nouns, idioms with prepositions for your ease of reference. Also, the learner will be able to appreciate the importance of idiomatic expressions in sentences. Coming to the samples of phrases and idioms, we shall start with adjectives and adverbs. For instance, look at the word flat. Fell flat, which means a plan that failed. Our plans to take a package to, to the Far East fell flat after the incident. So you see how fell flat is used in this sentence appropriately. Let's look at another example. Tell someone flat, which means tell someone in a definite manner. Now look at the sentence. She told him flat that she was not interested in the project. Similarly, if you look at another example with the word good, you will notice how it is used in the following combinations. As good as, meaning almost certainly. For an example, Shreya's embroidery work is as good as Panna's work or for good which means forever. We have got rid of the project for good. So you see the two different usage of the same word in these sentences. Now again, with the same word good, you have whole good, which means continue to be valid. If your invitation still holds good, I'd like to visit you next Sunday. Or let us look at this particular usage. In good time, which means with plenty of time to spare. We got to the station in good time, so we had time for a cup of coffee at the cafeteria. Now let us look at the word hard. It can be used in the following combinations. Be hard up, which means be short of money. So if you use it in a sentence, it could be something like, without a pension post-retirement, he was rather hard up. Or hard and fast rule, which means a rule that applies without exception. Now look at the sentence. There is no hard and fast rule in this regard. Now let us look at the noun form, the bottom line, which means the final outcome, the result or the final outcome. Now in the sentence form, we could use it thus. The bottom line is, we have to arrive at proper solution to this problem. Or let us look at this particular construction. In the line of fire, which means in a position between two opposing sides. My position is such that I am always in the line of fire. On one side is the union and on the other side is the establishment. Now do you get a better idea of the same? Now let's look at another noun, mind. Give someone a piece of one's mind, which means to scold. The next time... He neglects his work, the boss is sure to give him a peace of mind. That is, the boss is too sure to scold him. Or let us look at another structure. Make up one's mind. That is, to take up one's decision. Look at the sentence. Will you ever make up your mind with regard to your higher studies? Now, do you get a better idea of the same? Third, we shall come to the adjective plus noun form. Now, look at this particular construction. The burning question or a burning question, which means an important matter. Okay? Youth unemployment is a burning question in the state. Okay? Poor comfort, which means poor consolation. Now look at the sentence. It was cold comfort telling him that it was good for him to have lost the contract. Another example could be fair weather friend. That is to mean a person who stops being a friend when one's in trouble, right? 
So look at the sentence. What good is a fair weather friend? Next, we come to number four, which is pairs of adverbs. For example, by and large, which means taken as a whole. Look at the sentence. By and large, which means taken as a whole. By and large, it has been a pretty good year for the institution. Another example could be far and wide, which means everywhere. Now look at the example. The news of the incident had spread far and wide. Another example could be few and far between, which means seldom. We truly enjoy your company, but your visits are of so few and far between. Next, we come to pairs of nouns. For example, bag and baggage, which means with all belongings. Following their difficult share of experiences, the family left bag and baggage for their native village. Another example could be ups and downs, which means through good and bad moments. There are ups and downs which are part of our lives, after all. Another example could be board and lodging, which means food and accommodation. Example, the board and lodging expenses of the singing palm are affordable. Now, we move on to number five, which is idioms with prepositions. For example, at once beck and call, which means at once disposal. For an example, he has a lot of people at his beck and call. Or in the eye of, which means in the opinion of. You will be found guilty in the eye of the law. Or for another example, in a nutshell, which means concisely. Please give me the report in a nutshell. Another example, so that you better understand the same, could be on the cards, which means likely to happen. It is on the cards that a new wing of the library will be built. Now we come to the questions to check your progress. You advise to go through the presentation once again so as to grasp the entire content in a better manner. First, we shall begin with question number one. Briefly, describe the meaning of the phrases and idioms in a few words and make suitable sentences with the following. A. Once and for all. B. Hook or by crook. C. In a nutshell. Question number two. Make sentences with the following idioms. A. Make up one's mind. B. In good time. C. Ups and downs. Question number three, what are the various categories under which idiomatic phrase can be placed for one's easy reference? These are the possible questions. Here is the reference. You're advised to go through the BA English self-learning material, the graduate self-learning material that is, Foundation Course in English, Block 2, Unit 9, Semester 1. Thank you, dear learners.